If you're ready for a story, take a seat. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. Nod your head and tuck your feet. Make your hands all nice and neat. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. Good morning! My name is Angie and I am the Youth Services Coordinator for the Galax Carroll Regional Library and I am here to share virtual story time with you today! Yay! Thank you so much for joining me. Today we are going to talk about kindness. Now, what does it mean to be kind? What do you think it means to be kind? Well, think about that because all of our stories that we're going to read today, all of our felt boards that we're going to do today, and all the poems are going to be all about kindness. So hopefully by the end of story time, if you don't know the answer to that question, what is kindness? You'll definitely know by the end of story time. So hang in there. We'll talk about it some more. But our first story is called Share Some Kindness, Bring Some Light. It's written by April Stott. I love this book because it's about a little girl and her friend, a bear, who's a really good dancer, by the way. It was published by Simon & Schuster, and we have permission to read it on virtual story time today. So the little girl's name is Coco. Coco and Bear were friends from almost the very first time they met. They were very different. Bear was big, big, and Coco was small. Bear was shy, but Coco was brave. They were exactly alike in the most important way, though. I like that you're kind, said Coco. That's my favorite thing about you, too, said Bear. I also like that you're such a good dancer, said Coco. I wish the animals knew all the good things that you know about me, sighed Bear. They don't? asked Coco. They say that I must be mean because I'm so big. Some of them are afraid of me. Noodle strudel, said Coco in disbelief. Yeah, sniffled Bear. Coco gave Bear a big tight hug because that's what made her feel better whenever she was sad. Well, that's a really kind thing to do, isn't it? To give someone a hug when they're feeling sad. After Bear got some of his sadness out, Coco said, my grandma always says, when life gets dark as winter's night, share some kindness, bring some light. If we can do that, maybe the other animals will see what a good kind bear you are. But how do you share kindness, asked Bear. Coco thought for a minute. I think kindness must be something that you give away like a gift. We can bake cookies to share, suggested Bear. Yeah, agreed Coco. But how do we bring light? Let's make lanterns, said Coco. They're very cozy. I have supplies in my cave that we can use, offered Bear. So Coco and Bear have a plan to let all the other animals know how kind Bear is. They're gonna bake some cookies in Bear's cave, and they're gonna make some lanterns to give away so they can share light. I don't know about you, but I think that Bear's cave looks awfully cozy. It looks like a place where I would like to spend some time. When they were finished, they loaded up Bear's sled with all of their gifts. Ready, asked Coco. Bear nodded. Ready. But then he whispered, I'm a little scared. It's okay to be scared, said Coco, so long as you don't let the scariness stop you from sharing kindness and bringing light. Their first stop was Badger's house. Badger was not impressed. I only eat cookies with worms in them, he said grumpily. Would you like a lantern instead, asked Bear. How am I supposed to sleep all day with that light in here, said Badger. No, thank you. Oh, dear. Next, 
They tried Rabbit's house. Why would you bring me gifts? asked Rabbit. We want to show you how kind my friend Bear is, said Coco, hopefully. What if you're trying to trick me? A big bear wouldn't want to be friends with a small little rabbit like me. No, thank you. They didn't have much luck with Hedgehog or with Skunk either. All of the animals are still too afraid of Bear to accept his kindness. I'm ready for a break, sighed Bear. Maybe we need to make some different gifts and try again tomorrow, said Coco. The walk home was cold, and the only sound was the crunch of paws and boots through snow. Until... Help! Did you hear that? asked Bear. It's coming from over there, said Coco, pointing. She leapt off the path and... Floop! Oh, she fell down deep into the snow. Quick! Climb on my back, said Bear. Help! came the cry again. So Coco and Bear are walking through the forest to see if they can find who needs help. Why, it's Baby Deer, said Coco. What are you doing way out here, she asked. I, I went on an adventure, said Baby Deer, shivering. Oh, we love adventure, said Bear. I do too, said Baby Deer, but now I'm stuck. Don't be afraid, said Coco, we'll help you. How, said Baby Deer. You can ride on my back too, said Bear. That's a very kind thing for Bear to do, isn't it? Baby Deer, Baby Deer, where are you? All the other animals were yelling as they searched. Here I am, cried Baby Deer. I got stuck in the snow, but Coco and Bear found me. They gave me a ride home. Oh, thank you, said Mama Deer. Now, what are they using to look for baby deer? What are those? Those are the lanterns that Bear and Coco made. Wow, good thing Bear is so big, exclaimed Rabbit, and brave, said Hedgehog, and friendly, added Skunk. I guess he is a kind bear, grumbled Badger. Bear, did you hear that? They finally figured out that you're kind, exclaimed Coco. But I don't understand, said Bear. They didn't want our cookies or our lanterns. Your lanterns came in handy, after all. But helping baby deer showed how kind you really are, explained Mama Deer. But we just help because it's the right thing to do, said Coco. Exactly, said Mama Deer. I guess kindness is about giving away love instead of gifts, said Bear. It's doing something nice without expecting to get anything in return. Coco looked up at the stars. I think I get it now. Get what? asked Bear. When life gets dark as winter's night, share some kindness, bring some light. Coco grinned and started tapping her foot, but Bear, there's one more thing the others still don't know about you. And there's Bear doing some dancing in the forest with his friend Coco and all of his new animal friends. The end. Okay, so I'm going to turn back to the page where Bear says, I guess kindness is about giving away love instead of gifts. And it's about doing something nice without expecting to get anything in return. That's what Bear thinks that kindness is. And you know what? I agree with Bear. I think that that is exactly what kindness is. If you like this story and you like the pictures and you'd like to see it yourself closer, I'm going to turn this book into a book walk that you'll be able to see outside of the Carroll County Public Library. So that'll be next week. I'll put the signs out all around the library and you can go to the library and read the book again and see the pictures up close. That's such a great book. All right. Well, next we're going to read a poem. 
And there are some hand motions to this poem. And this poem is called Kind Hearts, and it's by H.W. Longfellow. And I'm going to have some hand motions, and I'll read the poem twice with the hand motions. And the second time, maybe you can join me. It goes like this. Kind hearts are the gardens. Kind words are the roots. Kind thoughts are the flowers. Kind deeds are the fruits. Take care of your garden and keep out the weeds. Fill it with sunshine. Kind words and kind deeds. Oh, isn't that such a lovely poem? Okay, we'll do it one more time and maybe you can join me with the hand motions. Ready? Kind words. Oh, I messed up. Kind hearts are the gardens. Kind words are the roots. Kind thoughts are the flowers. Kind deeds are the fruits. Take care of your garden and keep out the weeds. Fill it with sunshine. Kind words and kind deeds. Great job, you guys. I really enjoy that poem. It's so lovely. Okay, our next book, it's about another animal and his little girlfriend. This one is called Sometimes Cake. Uh, who likes cake? Me, I do, oh my goodness. Well, it looks like this lion likes some cake too. This book was written by Edwina Wyatt and illustrated by Tameson Ainsley. It was published by Candlewick Press and we have permission to read it on Virtual Storytime today. This little girl's name is Audrey. Audrey found Lion. Lion had a balloon. Is it your birthday? asked Audrey. Sometimes, said Lion, but not today. Audrey liked birthdays, and it must have been somebody's. So they sang a little song and gave three cheers. Hip, hip, hooray! Audrey found Lion. Lion had cake. What are you celebrating? asked Audrey. Tuesdays, said Lion. Also, coconuts. Ooh, I like Tuesdays and coconuts too. Audrey liked Tuesdays. She suggested Thursdays too. So they cut the cake and licked the coconut frosting. Audrey found Lion. Lion had a hat. What are you celebrating? asked Audrey. Orange, mostly, said Lion. Also yellow. Audrey liked orange. She suggested purple, too. Lion agreed and let her try on his hat. That was such a kind thing to let, for Lion to let Audrey try on his hat. The next day, Audrey found Lion. He didn't have a balloon or a cake, and he wasn't wearing a hat. What are you celebrating? asked Audrey. Nothing, said Lion. Today is just an ordinary day. Oh, said Audrey. I see. Audrey had some thinking to do. Oh, what is Audrey doing here? It looks like she's made a crown that's purple and yellow, and she just drawn a picture of Lion, and she's making some confetti. Lion found Audrey, and Audrey had a jar. What are you celebrating, asked Lion. Ordinary days, said Audrey. Also, lions. Lions liked celebrations. He suggested monkeys, too. Oh, look, Audrey's giving him the crown. So they opened Audrey's jar, jar and it snowed orange and yellow and purple. She'd made some confetti. 
Lion blew his whistle and Audrey beat her drum. And Lion went home to make a cake. It was Tuesday after all. The end. Oh, I love this book because Audrey and Lion like to celebrate ordinary things like the color orange and Tuesday, Thursdays, and monkeys. They're both very kind to each other by giving each other gifts and making each other cakes and hats. I love that book. So now we're going to read some more about some animals and their kindness. This is a Feldboard story and it is called How Kind and it's based on a book by the same name by Mary Murphy, but I've turned it into a Feldboard story. Hen gave pig an egg. Oh, how kind, said pig. Pig kept the egg safe and warm. Hen is so kind, he thought. I would like to do something kind, too. So Pig gave Rabbit a carrot. Because oh, rabbits love carrots, don't they? How kind, said Rabbit. Pig is so kind, thought Rabbit. I will do something kind, too. So Rabbit picked some flowers. These flowers are for you, cow, said Rabbit. How kind, said Cow. Rabbit is very, very thoughtful, thought Cow. How can I be kind and thoughtful too? So Cow gave Cat some milk, because we all know how much cats love to drink milk. How kind, thought Cat. Cow is so kind. I want to be kind too. So Cat looked for Dog. Let's play your favorite game, Dog, said Cat. How kind, said Dog. They chased around and around and around. Cat is so kind, thought Dog. I want to be kind too. So Dog fetched a stick and used it to scratch Pig's back. <laughs> the pigs love to have their back scratched. How kind, thought Pig. Would you like to see my egg dog? So Pig showed Dog where he was keeping the egg, nice and warm. But the egg, it was gone now, and it had turned into <gasps> A baby chick. Oh my goodness. Hello, you pretty little chick, said pig and dog. And they brought the chick back to hen. And hen said, how kind. The end. Oh, I love that because all the animals are so kind to each other. They give each other gifts. They play games. They scratch each other's back. Those are all wonderful ways to be kind. Well, our last book for the day is called I Wish, Wish, Wish for You by Sandra Magsonen with pictures by Melissa Nietzsche. It was published by Sourcebooks. And I'm going to try really hard not to cry while I read this book because it's so sweet. I believe that wishes really do come true. So here is what I wish, wish, wish for you. I wish that you find beauty in ordinary things like the sunrise, the mountains, and butterfly wings. I wish that you laugh and laugh and laugh out loud and that you know how it feels to be really proud. I wish that when you look at the stars that glow and twinkle at night, you'll know that you are part of it all and that you too shine so bright. I wish that you will always know that on the other side of sad, there are many more moments when you will feel glad. 
I wish that your adventures take you far and wide and that you never pass up a fun and wild ride. I wish that you try many things that are new and that you learn that there's nothing that you can't do. I wish you way more do's than don'ts and lots more I wills than I won'ts. Looks like he is starting to learn to play the fiddle and then by the end, he's really playing it really well. I wish that your dreams take you very far and that you will always stay true to who you are. I wish that you make friends who believe in you and that you are a good friend to them too. I wish that lots of sunshine and smiles will fill each day and when it rains that you look for rainbows when you play. I wish that you come to know that kindness is always the best choice and that you always speak from your heart when you use your voice. I wish that you see the strengths in people who are different than you and that you stand up for equality, fairness, and justice too. I wish you everything and so much more I wish you all the beauty that life has in store. But most of all, the biggest wish that I wish, wish, wish for you is that you know I will love you always and forever too. The end, that was so good. I almost didn't cry. <laughs> I love that book, especially the line that says that it's always best to choose kindness. So thank you so much for joining me today as we talk about kindness. I have had so many kind things happen to me as I've been working here at the library. I've gotten so many lovely notes and drawings and gifts from you. And I think that is so kind. And I cannot wait to see you in person for story time again, hopefully in April. Anyway, we'll be back for virtual story time again next week. But until then, I would love for you to think of one kind thing that you could do for somebody today and then go and do it. Thanks for sitting. Thanks for listening. Thanks for coming here today. Now that story time is over, hope you have a lovely day. Goodbye. See you next time.